A day after an improvised explosive device was detonated in police bazaar Shillong, Home Minister Lakhman Rumboy today informed that the police have detained two people, including one juvenile, for their alleged involvement in the blast. Last evening at around 6.30 p.m., a crude IED blast occurred at the entrance of the Centre Point building, damaging the wall window panes and signage of shops. The Home Minister informed that one juvenile, a resident of Demtring area, was apprehended the same night. On interrogation, Superintendent of Police East Khasi Hills District Sylvester Nongtengar informed via a press release that a crude IED was also recovered from the residence of his relatives in Nongtamai, which was safely diffused and seized in the presence of independent witnesses. Police say that the accused associated himself with the banned militant outfit HNLC. The Home Minister informed that another accused hailing from Nongstoin was also apprehended. Uh, yesterday at around 6.30, uh, there is a crude IED blast in the uh, police major area. Uh, but fortunately, the, there is no injury and the police act swiftly to identify the culprit and within a very few hours the police could identify the person suspected to be responsible for this crime there in police bazaar and ultimately uh, he had been picked up and through his confession primary confession that uh, the police came to know that there are some other bomb which is hidden somewhere and that led to uh, the recovery of some bomb and one is a live bomb which ultimately diffused by the bomb squad of the police department and while the investigation is on the police have not also one suspect accomplice of that fellow and he also been uh, pick up for interrogation to get into the bottom of this case. So, uh, but the first one which have been uh, picked up, he is uh, still below 18 years. So the police have to proceed uh, 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 take into consideration also the Justice Tribunal Act, uh, which is prevailed in uh, in our country. So I am very hopeful that, as I said before that the police through the investigation they will be able to break this uh, nexus and not all those are responsible in this dastardly uh, act or cowardly act of those people for us for the police department we see who is the culprit who is the one responsible for this crime we never look at the group we never look at the other uh, in but we are looking at the individual first. so after investigation if that individual through his confession this and that then uh, we will able to establish what for us as of now uh, no matter who the, the investigation as we speak is still going on and uh, i hope that uh, as i said before the police could get into bottom of this and nip this in the butt so that this type of incident will not uh, happen in the future the police have only identified all the vulnerable area uh, with the city and in the state also. Uh, having said that, uh, if you remember, recall that uh, even CCTV in some public places have been installed by the police department, uh, which are very helpful uh, into identifying the crime <coughs> or identify the people who are intending to commit the crime. So it is always there and uh, this issue is uh, not new it is uh, uh, the police is already alert and uh, but having said that it is not very easy for uh, in the crowded places that for the police if somebody want to uh, do something uh, printing but having said that technology help and technology will help this is the new age uh, investigation the new age of the, where the people also try to do something new meanwhile several legislators from the state have condemned the incident assembly speaker medbaling dot stated that such acts of violence should not be tolerated as innocent lives have to bear the brunt it's very very unfortunate and very sad to see 
that that kind of things is happening within the uh, you know center of the city. Uh, it is very very much uh, condemnable, and uh, this kind of violence uh, will not be tolerated at all because uh, innocent lives will have to bear you know the fruit of all this uh, you know kind of uh, um, activities which is it is not acceptable. Not Shlong MLA Adderbert Nong Rom stated that such acts were an act of cowardice. Today I revisit the spot as uh, yesterday a uh, uh, idea plus uh, taken place. I don't know who's uh, uh, responsible for this. Maybe it is the actual group who had been uh, stake claim or maybe individual person who are involved. But the police should do their own job as we have full faith in police department and the uh, police uh, and the government as well they should be alarmed and they should uh, be more uh, careful in the uh, uh, in day to day uh, uh, i mean in future like uh, we are uh, expecting for peace and uh, harmony in a state so we should not uh, allow such thing happen because this will affect the day to day activities of uh, general public i appeal that whosoever uh, respond for this uh, incident they should come out as a man and the way they act it was uh, truly on and purely inhuman and we should uh, condemn by all citizens of the state and i feel that uh, this uh, act of uh, uh, atrocity is uh, it is an act of cowardice and i believe that uh, this uh, incident in near future should stop at once and they should come out as a real man and talk and express what what uh, what are their uh, uh, wants or demand or grievances leader of opposition dr mukul sangma clp leader dr amprin lingda tmc state president charles pinrobe and other legislators also took to social media to condemn the act